Coming up in this edition of Junior Sabres Journal, a wild one at the Northtown Center against an undefeated division rival. The Buffalo Junior Sabres were in action on Sunday, September 18th at the Northtown Center in Amherst, continuing a seasoning opening homestand with a match against the Burlington Cougars, ranked 15th in all of Canada in the preseason Junior A rankings and undefeated so far this regular season. One of the reasons for their early success, a potent power play which the Cougars immediately put to use in this game. Buffalo started the game serving a minor penalty for a player crossing the center line during warm-ups, and Burlington's Cooper Richards opened the scoring just 1 minute 11 seconds into the contest. Buffalo bounced back quickly, though, as Tim Keelich responded with this goal less than a minute later, assisted by Ryan Schmelzer. The Junior Sabres then took their first lead of the game at the 347 mark when Josh Keelich put the puck past Burlington goalie Brayden Mann. The Cougars tied the game at two goals each just two and a half minutes later when Slater Donkett scored this goal. Things settled down for a few minutes, then at the 13-31 mark, Ryan Stainer found a loose puck and got it past Mann. The goal ignited some fisticuffs which led to four player ejections, two from each team. Stainer was sent to the showers, as was Derek Patterson for this exchange of fisticuffs. Burlington's Dan Lomas was ejected for being a third man in, while Jeremy Lang was also ejected from the Cougars' side. Penalties proved costly to Buffalo all evening. With Buffalo a man down, Burlington's Phil Kiss fired this low steamer past Tyler Felica to tie the game at 3-3. Buffalo responded with less than a minute left in the period as Chris Luker put the puck past Mann to restore Buffalo's lead at 4-3. Heading into the second period, Burlington switched goalies, putting Alex Murray in the game. Just five seconds in, on their first shot of the period, the junior Sabres' Shane Bennett scored this goal to increase the home team's lead to 5-3. to three. Buffalo looked to be in the driver's seat, right? Well, not so fast. Penalties again proved costly to the junior Sabres, which found themselves shorthanded by two men. This gave Burlington the golden opportunity to get back into the game, and they did so on two consecutive power play goals. The first one scored by Shane Conacher. Then, just a half a minute later, and still on the power play, Dalton Jay's goal erased Buffalo's lead and evened the score at 5-5. Five to five. Buffalo, like Burlington did earlier in the game, switched goalies, replacing Felicum with Parker Gahagan. The Cougars, just like Buffalo did at the start of the period, needed very little time to beat their new opposing goalie. Richards scored his second goal of the night, and Burlington was back in the lead 6-5. Buffalo got its own power play opportunity midway into the second period, and Jake Ledyard's shot found its way past Murray, tying the game at 6-6. Burlington got another power play later in the period, and for the fifth time in the game, scored a power play goal. This one was Doggett's second goal of the game. Buffalo then evened the score at 7-7 with 2.20 remaining in the second period on this goal by Scott Sims. In just two periods, the teams combined for 14 goals. The third period was a tighter and tougher matchup with both teams not wanting to make that crucial mistake that could put their opponent ahead. Buffalo made just such a mistake when Joe Johnson was sent to the penalty box for a high sticking call at the 9.15 mark. Burlington put on the pressure, but Buffalo captain Mark Arnone saw an opportunity, broke up a Burlington pass and streaked in on Murray, beating the goalie with a shorthanded tally that put the junior Sabres back in the lead. Burlington put on the pressure for the rest of the game, but Gahagan came up big when he had to, and Buffalo won its second game of the season 8-7, handing Burlington its first loss of the year. Junior Sabres head coach Grant Ledyard spoke after the game. Our, our guys, I thought they fought very hard. Uh, they realized what kind of game it was. It was difficult from the red line you know, into our defensive zone. Um, we just couldn't get it figured out tonight, as uh, I think the other team had a little problem too. But... Um, when it's sitting 7-7 seven, seven, you know, beginning of the third period, that's, it's tough to look up, but as I told the guys, it's nice to be 0-0 zero, zero going into the third period. And uh, this was a game that uh, the lead exchanged several times, including Buffalo squandering uh, a 5-3 lead on uh, first on a two-man power play. Yeah. Uh, that, that had to be a little bit frustrating because here it looked like you guys were in the driver's seat and with all the penalties, uh, your boys let them back in. Well, I could see the way the game was trending. No, nobody was really tough on the puck. Uh, we were turning pucks over at the, the critical areas inside the blue line, at our own blue line, uh, not really getting it out of, out of our zone cleanly. So it was, you know, the game was kind of looking like it could turn against us at any time. And, uh, you know, as a coach, you hope that it doesn't. But, you know, as we saw tonight, it, it did. 
but uh, we, were, we reacted very well. We had a couple of timely power play goals, um, and we worked very hard. 14 goals after the second period, you don't see that too often, but um, you know, I feel like when we play as a team, we use our assets, our speed, our size, we can compete with anyone. It's always nice to get two points. So. You guys did get a little bit of penalty trouble, though, that kind of allowed Burlington uh, to take advantage of a, a pretty potent power play and get back in the game. Tell me about uh, how you guys were able to calm down and uh, stay out of the box as much in the third. Uh, you know, we figured it out after second. I mean, take penalties, they're going to score goals. We got a great power play, we still got to work on our penalty kill a little bit. But, um, you know, we were just more disciplined, came out, played a much better third period defensively, and pulled it out. So. The Junior Sabres homestand continues on Tuesday night, September 20th, when they host the Hamilton Red Wings on the Lexus Feature Rink at the Northtown Center in Amherst. Tickets are $7 for adults and $3 for students and senior citizens. For more information about the Junior Sabres, look us up online at buffalojuniorsabres.com. You can also find us on Facebook, and now we're also on Twitter. That's it for this edition of Junior Sabres Journal. We'll see you next time.